G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a really cool geometry problem. It goes as follows. A lemming sits at the corner of a square with side length 10 meters. All right, so I'm gonna draw a square. So I've got a lemming, a little creature, sitting at one corner, side length 10. Uh, the lemming runs 6.2 meters along a diagonal towards the opposite corner, opposite corner, yep, and it steps, and, sorry, and it stops and makes a 90 degree right turn and runs two more meters. Hang on, I'm confused already. It's in the corner, it runs 6.2 meters off to the opposite corner, so 6.2 meters, and this is 10, 10, 10, and 10. Stops, makes a 90 degree right turn, and runs two more meters. So 90 degree turn and runs two more meters, or something like that. Okay, it's a very rough picture, something like that. Okay, getting a little bit scared now, these numbers are a little bit confusing. Um, a scientist measures the shortest distance between the lemming and each side of the square. So the lemmings right here measure the shortest distance from all, to all four sides, I guess. I think I've got that right. What is the average of these four distances in meters? Oh heavens. Oh heavens, I'm going gulp. This seems really scary. Right, so the lemming was here, ran 6.2 meters towards that corner, turn right, two more meters. That's some strange thing. I bet I, I probably could work out that position. It really doesn't sound fun though. I don't want to work out that position. All right, so I'm going to employ strategy number nine. Avoid hard work. I feel like that's too much work for this question. So what's really going on? What's the scientist going to do? The scientist is going to measure the shortest distance between the lemming and each of the sides of the square. So we're going to measure this distance, get some number A. Measure this distance, get some number B. Measure this distance, get some number C. And finally over to the other side, get some number D. And it's going to take the average of those four numbers, A, B, C, and D. It's going to add those four numbers and divide by four. Ooh, I'm stopping right there. I've just seen something marvelous. Can you see something marvelous as well? Look at the picture. And then have a look at the essay that goes with this video. This is really cool. Wow. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.